everybody, it's Miss Debbie again, and today I have something really fun for us to talk about. Something that you guys like, something that I like, you know, something that I'm not sure I know anybody that doesn't like. I'm going to talk about toys. But first, grab my auto harp, we're going to sing our song. If you know the words and the motions, sing along with me. You ready? Here we go. Guys, I hope you sang along. Well, let me get my auto harp down. And then we can talk about toys. Oh, wow. Toys are things that we probably have quite a few of. We mostly get them from stores, from our moms and our dads and our family and friends. I want to show you my latest toy that I got. It's called a claw machine. Do you see the claw in there? Well, maybe when you go to a restaurant or some place that has games, you might see a claw machine. It's usually filled with all kinds of things. And my claw machine has a spot to put in a coin. It came with some plastic coins. And the buttons to go up and down and back and forth. My call machine actually came with some little things to put inside. So let's put them inside. Let's see. That looks like a dog. What else do I have? Oh, what's that? A fish. Okay, you can go into. And a bear. And then, oh, looks like another bear. A white bear. All right. I got my things in there. I need my coin. Wish me luck. Let's see. When I was a little girl, and even when my parents were little, we used to go to Ocean City in Maryland, and they have a boardwalk. And down on the boardwalk, there's this building that has all kinds of games in it. In the very back, they have all these kinds of machines. And when I was growing up, I used to like to go in that building and play on the claw machines. And my kids, we made sure to take them there, and they enjoyed doing it too. I'm not very good at it, but let's see how I do. I'm gonna take my coin, and I'm gonna put it in the slot right there. I'll hold it up so you can see. Ooh, now I gotta go. Let's see, what should I go after? Let's go down. I don't think it's going to work. It didn't work. Let me try again. Let me see. I'm going to mix up these animals so they're not all in one pile. Sometimes that makes a difference. All right. Let me see if I can try one more time. If I don't get this time, then I'm done. All right. Got my coin. I'm going to put it in. Wish me luck. I just gotta 
get it to the slot in enough time. Yay! Look! I got it! I got my bear. Well, it's a fun machine to play. And if I want, I could put all kinds of things in there. I could put candies and other things. But I just wanted to share this with you because this is one of the fun toys that I just had got not too long ago. Well, but like I was saying, toys come from stores, but toys also, we can make at home. And I want to show you a little bit some toys that we can make. But first, I have a flannel. I need to scoot this over this way so you can... There it is. This is a flannel board about <laughs> toys. And it goes like this. Oh, that's my toy box. I go to my toy box. And what do I see? I pull out... Oh, what are those? Blocks. Some blocks. To play with me. I wonder what else is in my toy box. Let's go. I go to my toy box and what do I see? What's in there? Oh, I pull out a truck to play with me. We'll put him up here. I wonder what else is in there. Let's go. I go to my toy box and what do I see? I pull out some balls to play with me. Do you like playing with balls? I do. I go to my toy box, and what do I see? I pull out, oh, a doll. She looks like she's a veterinarian, doesn't she? To play with me. I go to my toy box, and what do I see? Oh, I see something. I pull out. Oh, do you have teddy bears? I pull out some teddy bears to play with me. I think I have one more thing in my toy box. I go to my toy box, and what do I see? I pull out a rubber duck to play with me. It must be getting close to bath time. It's fun to have a rubber duck in the bath, isn't it? How many different kinds of types of toys did I get? Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, Six. All kinds of toys in my toy box. And it's always nice when you're done to clean up your toys and put them back in your toy box. So you'll know where they'll be the next time you're ready to play. One of my favorite things to make and to play with are puppets. I like doing puppets during stories. And I like just playing with puppets. Well, I want to show you some ways that you can make your own puppets. The first one I have for you, you need a paper bag. I have a white one, but you can use a brown one, whatever color you want to have. And I went on the internet and I will post the links to the different things that I've used today on the story times. But let me show you what I printed out from the internet. This is from DLTK's website. I printed this, and I printed this. What kind of puppet do you think this will turn out to be? Let me show you. Take my paper bag, I cut out my pieces. It showed you down the corner what it's gonna look like. But first, I colored. I colored the bottom of a bag red, and the top of my bag this peach color. And I cut out the pieces, and then I taped them on. Who is this? What does that make a puppet of? This is Santa. I thought Santa would be fun to do this year. And we're so close to the end of the year. And then you just put your hand inside the bag, and you can make Santa talk. Ho, ho, ho. I hope you guys are being good little boys and girls. I should be seeing you real soon. Ho, ho, ho. Where's my reindeer? Oh, gotta go. Gotta find my reindeer. Rudolph! <gasps> Paper bag puppets. 
You can make, they have all kinds of different things you can make with a paper bag. So that's one type of puppet. Let me get this over here. Now this one, you just stick your fingers in to make more legs for your spider because spiders don't have four legs. Spiders have eight legs. And you can make them crawl. And you can play with them. They're just construction paper for the eyes. Some chenille. And I just cut some holes for my fingers. Very easy puppet to play and make. One of my favorite sites is PBS Kids. And I printed out some pages from PBS Kids and they have all kinds of things to make puppets. I made a couple stick puppets. One of Molly and Tui that I can use if I want to do a puppet. I can even write my own stories and make up things for the puppets. Because what's cool on this website is you've got all kinds of characters that you can make into stick puppets. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh. And they even have things that you could use as props to go with it. And if you, you could write a really cool story or make up a cool story to tell. Ooh, we have some animals. So it's fun printing things off the web. You can make all kinds of things. One of the puppets that I want to show you that I made is this guy. I call him Seymour. Hello, everybody. My name is Seymour. And I'm an envelope puppet. Look at that. It's just made out of an envelope. Let me show you what I do, what you can do. You need to, it's better to have a big envelope. I don't know, maybe if you have little hands, little envelopes will work. But the first thing you do is you get an envelope and you have to seal it closed. So, I want my envelope shut. This one I didn't have to lick, it already had stuff on it, but you might have to lick it. And the next thing you do is you cut off the two shorter ends at the very end. You don't want to cut off a whole lot, just enough to make it open. And I'm gonna cut the other side. And now, I need to fold it. So I'm gonna fold it in half, like that. And then I'm gonna take each half, and I'm gonna fold it one more time. I'm gonna fold that half in half, and I'm gonna fold the other half in half. Because I cut holes in the ends, I have places to stick my fingers to make my puppet talk everybody and then you could do what I do did and found some fun things to glue on there or you could just take a marker and you could put some eyes up I'm right-handed so it's not gonna work if I do it that way I'm gonna do, put some eyes on him and a squiggly nose and you could decorate them however you want and then you have a real easy puppet. Bye, guys. Well, we have some puppets now. I was thinking of what I could do with my stick puppets. So I decided I needed to make a puppet stage. This is a homemade puppet stage. And the directions will be on the or from the internet and we'll post it. But let me show you what I used. This is from a cereal box. I don't know if you can see, but you can see the cereal box in there. Let me move this over a little bit more so we can see over here. Okay. And I covered it with some paper and I decorated it up. It kind of looked like a stage. I what you did what I did first was 
took a cereal box and I opened it up where the seams are. You just need to find where they've glued it together and you can just open it up as easy as that. And you have a great big stage. Now for, for mine, I cut the top, but I needed to make a hole in the front. For my puppet show so I cut out a square and then I angled it like there and I folded the sides in to make it into a box what I did different with mine is I wanted a back of mine sometimes you might want a back sometimes you don't and but I wanted a back on mine so I cut it so that I can either have it open in the back. So if I have a puppet show and I want to just have it here with my puppets, I could do it I could do it that way. I could have my stick puppets doing it that way. Or if I wanted to have something in the background, I could close it back up and tape it down. And then I have a background. Well, now that we have a puppet stage, let's do a puppet show. I decided that I wanted to do a nursery rhyme. And I picked... Hey, Diddle Diddle. I actually used the part that I cut out the front of here to make this. So, let's get our stage ready. It goes like this. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. Making, are you making, I'm making him jump. The little dog laughed. to see such fun and the dish ran away with the spoon. There they go, they're running away. You could do this with all kinds of nursery rhymes. Now, I also got these pictures off the internet too. So you could do that. You could draw your own, you could make up your own stories. Now these stick puppets, I put from the top because I wanted them to come down from the top. But my cat and my dog, I wanted them to be in the bottom. So I put the stick and I got a little piece of styrofoam that I put them in so they could sit flat. You could do all, all kinds of things with yours though. So let's get this drawn because I thought, you know, I was having so much fun doing this one that I wanted to do another one. And I decided that I was, going, let's see if you could figure out which one I decided to do. Let me put my back in here. Can you tell what's on there? Get him going. Is he going straight? No, he's not going straight. There he goes. What do we have? I have a barn and I have a farmer. And you know, I thought it would be fun to also have a tractor. Do you think that could be Old MacDonald? It's Old MacDonald. And I have some animals. So maybe you could sing along with me. And you know the song. It goes like this. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, 
Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo, moo. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. What should we do that? Oh, let's straighten that tractor up. He's falling a bit. Mr. Tractor, can you get there better? There we go. What should he have next? Oh, what about a horse? What does a horse say? Nay. Okay, here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a horse. E-I-E-I-O. With a nay, nay here and a nay, nay there. Here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay, nay. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. What else could old MacDonald have? Oh, what about a pig? Ready? What does a pig say? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O. With a oink oink here and a oink oink there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Well, let's see. Have a sheep. You ready? What does a sheep say? Bah. Okay. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on that farm he had a sheep. E I E I O. With a ba ba here and a ba ba there. Here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba ba. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Let's see, I have one more. And it's a chicken. You ready? What does a chicken say? Quack, quack. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on that farm he had a chicken. E-I-E-I-O With a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O Good job guys! As you can see, you could make up stories, you could sing songs, you could do all kinds of things with stick puppets and your puppet stage. And like I said, sometimes you can make the sticks come from the bottom if you want to stand up, or you can put them from the top if you want to bring them to the top. All kinds of things you can do with your puppets and your puppet stage. Those are some fun toys to play with. I think it's time for us to get up and move around some. I have a rhyme about toys. So, I need you to stand up and do like I do. Are you ready? Here we go. Fire truck, fire truck, roll on the ground. Can you reach down and touch the ground? Touch the ground way down there. Did you touch it? Good job. <gasps> princess, princess, come and get crowned. Pretend you have a crown to put on your head. Ooh, very pretty. Airplane, airplane, take off and fly. Put your arms out like wings and fly like you're an airplane. <gasps> baby doll, baby doll, start to cry. Oh no. <laughs> <gasps> rattle, rattle, make some noise. Let's shake and make a noise. Rattle, 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 shake, 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 Give yourself a big hug. Can we try that again? Let's try it again. Fire truck, fire truck, roll on the ground. Reach on the ground, bring them, touch the ground. <gasps> princess, princess, come get crowned. Put the crown on your head. Very nice. Airplane, airplane, take off and fly. <laughs> baby doll, baby doll, start to cry. 
cry. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> rattle, rattle. Make some noise. Can you shake and make noise? Shake, shake, rattle, rattle, rattle. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, how much I love my toys. Give yourself a great big hug. Good job, guys. Since we were talking about stick puppets, I wanted to show you another thing that you could do if you make some stick puppets. I've made some stick puppets here. And I've made a pretend bed. And we're going to sing the song. There were ten in the bed. But let's make sure we have ten puppets here before we call, do it. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten. Then there's stuffed animals. And they're in the bed. And this little one doesn't have enough room. So he says, there were ten in the bed. And the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. And you can take your puppet out. How many do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. There were nine in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. What's coming out? Oh, it's a giraffe. He fell out. How many's left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There were eight in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. How many's left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There were seven in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. <gasps> what was he? He was a stuffed alligator. <gasps> How many now? One, two, three, four, five, six. You can sing along with me. You ready? Here we go. There were six in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. Oh my goodness, half the bed's gone, and he still needs more room. How many's left? One, two, three, four, five. There were five in the bed, and the little one said, roll over roll over so they all rolled over and one fell out oh my goodness one two three four there were four in the bed and the little one said roll over roll over so they all rolled over and one fell out that was a horse how many? One, two, three. There were three in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. Look at that. Two. Only had two left. There were two in the bed, and the little one said, roll over roll over so they all rolled over and one fell out how many is left in the bed just one and he still doesn't have enough room there was one in the bed and the little one said roll over roll over so they all rolled over and one fell out how many are there? There were none in the bed, and the little one said, Good night. He wanted that bed all to
Okay, two, seven. That's a pretty big bed, isn't it? Well, hope you can get to sleep now. There's one more thing. I want to show you some toy that you could make at home. And this one's one of my very favorites. I made some homemade Play-Doh. You'll be able to find the recipe in the link on my Facebook. But this is very easy to make. And most of the things you probably already have in your house that you need to make it. I use flour and oil and salt and food coloring and some cream of tartar. I, and some water. It needs water too. And I mixed it all together. And I have this wonderful Play-Doh to play with. Do you like playing with Play-Doh? I like playing with Play-Doh, too. You can do all kinds of things. Let's see, we can make it into logs and build that way. We could even make it into a vase. And add it to the top of my log. You could use your regular Play-Doh toys, cookie cutters, rolling pins, doesn't smell like Play-Doh, but it is awful fun to play with. And it's awful fun to make. It's a little softer than Play-Doh. And you don't have to cook it. You just mix all these ingredients together. And it should be good for about a month. But you do need to keep it in a bag. You don't have to put it in the refrigerator or anything, but just keep it in a bag. This is how much the recipe makes of the Play-Doh. So, but we want to seal this bag nice and closed to keep our Play-Doh fresh for when we're ready to play with it again. Well, thank you guys for joining me today. It was so much fun talking about toys and seeing different toys that we can actually make at home without having to go to the store. Before we go today though, I want to sing our song together. So let me get my auto harp. There he is. All right, guys, get your fingers together. You ready to sing? Here we go. good time doing this and I hope you try some of the toys that we were making today and make some wonderful puppet shows I know you guys have wonderful imaginations and I can't wait to hear what some of your stories would be like and how your puppet shows go if you want you can email me or let me know on Facebook so until we meet again I'll see you real soon bye guys